Greetings travelers! So today's tutorial we are going to cover the section for other. Now to recap we have talked about the images which again that's the header image with the title this image here on the left hand side and then the one right behind the header image which is the ring. Uh, we talked about the layering positioning and just coordinates in general when you pick your alignment. Uh, then we talked about the buttons and how that's done and the way that you have to format your button image in order to make it work properly. And then we talked about the text, adding the extra stuff like the welcome and the number of mods and the version of the mod pack. But now we're going to talk about the other section, which is where I'm sure some of you are really eager to get into, which is where well, you see the panorama back here. So in that section here, you'll notice there are two for other, splash text and panorama. Now in one of the later episode or versions of custom main menu, he added the ability to put custom splash text. And there are several options for doing the background images. I'm not going to cover all the available options, but I will cover a couple of them. One being the default, which is simply what you see by normal, which is just the background of some area of the world. Uh, I won't show you how to make the panorama. I can tell you that there will be, there's a couple of different tutorials out there that teach you how to make a panorama correctly. If I remember, I will add a link in the description for the one that I used when I had made a panorama. Uh, but animate, you know, so the, the big things is, here's the type of image. Now, if you're going to use panorama, all images have to be named panorama underscore. This piece is for custom main menu. Each of your panorama screens need to be a different number. So panorama 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that's how you get what this is for. Animate. That's just simply, do you want it to do the whole circle and the up and down and just, you know, how this looks. The animate speed, how fast it does this turn. Blur, that gives it this fuzzy look. You can actually have it just no blur, so you see the raw image without any fading or anything else. And gradient, same thing, kind of, you know, it's how it gets a little cloudier here you know, fuzzier here and then gets clear at the bottom. I'll just texturing and to make it look nice. Uh, the splash text here, by default, it uses the one from Minecraft and there you go. So what we're going to do is from mine, we're going to once again copy the code out. I'll go over what's different in mine versus the default. So the splash text here, if you're going to use custom splash text, this is the format. So you're going to have file and then the path to that text file. Now what's important on that, if we go here, each word or set of words or sentence has to be on a separate line. That's how it knows which one to display when it chooses one randomly. Uh, and you just make sure that the it's a text file and this name matches what you have in your resource folder. And then of course the rest of it's the same as anything else, the positioning and the, the alignment where you want to have it at. So that's why if we go here and we, well, let me go over the panorama first. So in the panorama, in my case, I just let it go the default information rather than changing it, which is why you don't see the speed or the motion because I'm just going to let it go default. You can change that if you want using the example from the default file. But let's go ahead and save. Now you see it's got the background that I had created where it's rotating. Uh, and the difference here is now the splash text matches what I had created. So each time you reload, you'll get a different one. Uh, 
but that's pretty much all there is to the others. There's a few other options that are available there, but the use of the ones that are the most commonly used. Uh, if there's enough requests for some of the others that are available here, I can do an additional tutorial for that. Otherwise, that's going to be pretty much it for this tutorial. Uh, the next one, the plan is we're going to go in a little bit more detail for resource loader, what it can do, you know, some of the other things it can do, not necessarily a comprehensive list, but just some of the ideas that you can use with the resource loader to improve your pack. And we will cover the custom GUIs. So at that, I want to thank you all for stopping by and have a great day.